Hi, welcome back. We're in 2 Kings chapter 14 and 15, and I'm glad you stopped and uh, are able to read with me today. Help me study some more. Um, so let's open up in prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We give you all the praises for everything good that's going on today. We ask for your help with our concerns, with anything that's troubling our hearts, Lord. We're asking for, for you to receive it as our petition that you help us and guide us. I ask that it is your voice that is heard in, in this reading and not my own, your message and not my own. I, I pray that we are able to steady our hearts and our minds so that we can receive a word, understand it, and one day share it. We give you all the praise and glory, Lord. Amen. Amaziah, so I'll just say this real quick. So Kings has been about um, a lot of who reigned during what time and the divided Israel. And so there's a lot of uh, changes in who's sitting on, on the throne and where. So I'm going to do my best not to confuse everybody and pronounce the names right and just keep reading um, because I I feel, I feel like I'll just confuse everybody. So let me just read, okay? Okay, so 14. Amaziah reigns in Judah. In the second year of Joash, the son of Jehoaz, king of Israel, Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, became king. He was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jehoadan of Jerusalem, and he did what was right in the sight of the Lord. Yet not like his father David, he did everything as his father Joash had done. However, the high places were not taken away, and the people still sacrificed and burnt incense in the high places. Now it happened as soon as the kingdom was established in his hand that he executed his servants who had murdered his father, the king. But the children of the murderers he did not execute, according to what was written in the book of the law of Moses, in which the Lord commanded, saying, Fathers shall not be put to death for their children, nor shall children be put to death for their fathers, but a person shall put, be put to death for his own sin. That reminds me of like when a, a minor goes goes to court because they did something horrible like let's just say murder and then the parents have to have to be punished as well here it's saying it's not everyone that sins they're they're punished accordingly not their parents not their children having to pay for it also <clears throat> he killed 10,000 Edomites in the valley of salt and took Salah by war and called its name Jokdil to this day then Amaziah sent messengers to Jehoas to I'm sorry, to Jehoash, the son of Jehoaz, the son of Jehu, king of Israel, saying, Come, let us face one another in battle. And Jehoash, king of Israel, sent to Amaziah, king of Judah, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give your daughter to my, to my son as wife. And a wild beast that was in Lebanon passed by and trampled the thistle. You have indeed defeated Adam, and your heart has lifted you up. Glory in that, and stay at home, for why should you meddle with trouble so that you fall, you and Judah, with you? But Amaziah would not heed. Therefore Jehoash, king, king of Israel, went out, so he and, he and Amaziah, king of Judah, faced one another at Beth Shemesh, which belongs to Judah. And Judah was defeated by Israel, and every man fled to his tent. Then Jehoash, king of Israel, captured Amaziah, king of Judah. Then son of Jehoash, the son of Uzziah, and Beth Shemesh, and he went to Jerusalem and broke down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim to the corner gate, 400 cubits. And he took all the gold and silver, all the articles that were found in the house of the Lord and in the treasuries of the king's house and hostages and returned to Samaria. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoash, which he did, his might, and how he fought with the Messiah, king of Judah, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Jehoash rested with his fathers and was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Then Jeroboam, his son, reigned in his place. They say that a lot in here. Um, right, let me read that. It says, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Chronicles, let me before I misspeak. Yep, Chronicles is next. So um, I'm thinking they just go further in detail when we get to Chronicles, I hope. Um, verse 17. Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, lifted, lived 15 years after the death of Jehoash, the son of Jehoahaz, king of Israel. <laughs> now the rest of the acts of Amaziah, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Judah? And they formed a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lachish, but they sent after him to 
Leches and killed him there. Then they brought him on horses and he was buried at Jerusalem with his fathers in the city of David. And all the people of Judah took Azariah, who was 16 years old, and made him king instead of his father Amaziah. He built Elath and restored it to Judah after the king rested with his fathers. Jeroboam the second reigns in Israel. In the 15th year of Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, became king in Samaria and reigned 41 years, and he did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, <clears throat> who had made Israel sin. He restored the territory of Israel from the entrance of Hamath to the sea of, of the Arabah, according to the word of the Lord God of Israel, which he had spoken through his servant, Jonah, the son of Amittai, the prophet who was from Gath, Hefer. For the Lord saw that the affliction of Israel was very bitter, and whether bond, whether bond or free, there was no helper for Israel. And the Lord did not say that he would blot out the name of Israel from under heaven, but he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam, the son of Joash. Now the rest of the acts of Jeroboam and all that he did, his might, how he made war, and how he recaptured from Israel from Damascus, and Hamath, what had belonged to Judah, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the king of Israel? So Jeroboam rested with his fathers, the kings of Israel. Then Zechariah, his son, reigned in his place. Chapter 15. Azariah reigns in Judah. In the 27th year of Jeroboam, king of Israel, Azariah, the son of Amaziah, king of Judah, became king. He was 16 years old when he became king, and he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jecoliah of Jerusalem, and he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. Except that he, except that the high places were not removed, the people still sacrificed and burned incense on the high places. Then the Lord struck the king so that he was a leper until the day of his death. So he dwelt in an isolated house, and, and Jotham, the king's son, was over the royal house, judging the people of the land. And so even though he was king, he wasn't very, he wasn't seen very much because he, he had, um, he was a leper, leprosy. Um, now the rest of the acts of Zariah and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? So Azariah rested with his fathers and they buried him with his fathers in the city of David. Then Jotham, his sons reigned in his place. Zechariah reigns in Israel. In the 38th year of Azariah, king of Judah, Zechariah, the son of Jeroboam, reigned over Israel in Samaria six months. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, and his father, as his fathers had done. He did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. Then Shalom, the son of Jabesh, conspired against him and struck and killed him in front of the people, and he reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Zechariah, indeed, they are written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel. This was the word of the Lord, which he spoke to Jehu, saying, Your son shall sit on the throne of Israel to the fourth generation. And so it was. Shalom reigned, reigns in Israel. Shalom, the son of Jabesh, became king in the 39th year of Uzziah, king of Judah. And he reigned a full month in Samaria. For Menahem, the son of Gadi, went up from Tirsa, came to Samaria and struck Shalom, the son of Jabesh in Samaria, and killed him, and he reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Shalom and the conspiracy which he led, indeed, they are written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel. Then from Terza, Menahem attacked Tipsa, all who were there and its territory, because they did not surrender, therefore he attacked it. All the women there who were with child he ripped open. Menahem reigns in Israel. It's very um, savage, that image right there. Um, in the th so there was no mercy um, for children or women either. So, uh, 17. In the 39th year of Azariah, king of Judah, Menahem, the son of Gadi, became king over Israel and reigned 10 years in Samaria. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart all his days from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. Paul, king of Assyria, came against the land, and Menahem, Menahem, 
gave Paul a thousand talents of silver, that his hand might be with him to strengthen the kingdom under his control. And Menahem exacted the money from Israel, from all the very wealthy, from each man, fifty shekels of silver, to give to the king of Assyria. So the king of Assyria turned back and did not stay there in the land. Now the rest of the acts of Menahem and all he did, are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Menahem rested with his fathers. Then Pekahiah, his son, reigned in his place. Pekahiah reigns in Israel. Verse 23. In the 50th year of Azariah, um, yes, 50th year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekahiah, the son of Menahem, became king over Israel and Samaria and reigned two years. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. Then Pekah, the son of Remaliah, an officer of his, conspired against him and killed him in, the, in Samaria. In the citadel of the king's house, along with Argob and Ariah, and with him were fifty men of Gilead. He killed them. He killed him and reigned in his place. Now the rest of the acts of Pekahiah and all that he did, indeed, are written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel. There's going to be a lot in Chronicles <laughs> just by reading what it says here. Pekah reigns in Israel. In the fifty-second year of Azariah, king of Judah, Pekah the son of Remaliah became king over Israel and Samaria and reigned 20 years. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who had made Israel sin. In the days of Pekah, king of Israel, Tegla Peleser, Peleser, king of Assyria, came and took Ijon, Abel, Beth, Macha, Genoa, Kadesh, Hazor, Gilead, and Galilee, 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 sorry, all the land in Atali, and he carried them captive to Assyria. Then Hosea, the son of Elah, led a conspiracy against Pekah, the son of Remaliah, and struck and killed him. So he reigned in his place in the 20th year of Jotham, the son of Uzziah. Now the rest of the acts of Pekah and all that he did, indeed they are written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel. In the second year of Pekah, this is Jotham reigns in Judah, verse 32. In the second year of Pekah, the son of Remaliah, king of Israel, Jotham, the sons of Uzziah, king of Judah, began to reign. He was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok, and he did what was right in the sight of the Lord. He did according to all his father's Uzziah had done. However, the high places were not removed. The people still sacrificed and burned incense on the high places. He built the upper gate of the house of the Lord. So, um, that we we read that in a few places that people still that they didn't remove the high places that the people still burnt incense and they still made sacrifices the reason i bring that up is i wonder if that is one of the reasons that um, israel kept falling away from the lord because they didn't completely surrender and submit to the lord and give up worshiping other idols because when you burn incense and you're making sacrifices on high places that aren't the altar you know the most holy place i'm I'm thinking they're worshiping other gods, and that would be a reason for them to to lose God's favor. Um, he didn't lead them to on their own, but he wasn't blessing them the same. And I wonder if it's because they wouldn't get rid of the high places. Let's continue. Um, 36. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? In those days the Lord began to send Rezin king of Syria and Pekah the son of Remaliah against Judah. So Jotham rested with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, his father. Then Ahaz, the son, reigned in his place. That was 14 and 15. As always, I hope you received the message today. And if um, I read too fast, it's always good to go over it a second time. So take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye.